ಶಕ್ತಿ ವಿನೋದಕಾರಿ ಪಲಪನ ವಿಸರೆ ನಹಿ ಜೋ ವಿಸಾರಿ ಜುಗಲ ಚರಣ ಸೋಲ ಚಿನ್ನ ಜೇಹ ನಜರ ಸಮೀಪೆ ರಹೋ ಅಮಾರಿ ಏಹ ನಜರ ಸಮೀಪೆ ರಹೋ ಅಮಾರಿ ಏಹ ಘನಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ನೀ ಜಯ ಹರಿಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ನೀ ಜಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ ಭಗವಾನ್ ನೀ ಜಯ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಓ ಮೈರಿ ಅವರ್ ಬಲವೆಡ್ ಘನಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ದ ಪ್ಯಾಥ್ ಮೇಕರ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಅವರ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಗುರುಜಿ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಸಂತೋ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿ ಭಕ್ತೋಸ್ ಜಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಹಿಂದೂ ಕ್ಯಾಲೆಂಡರ್ ವಿ ಆಸ್ ಹಿಂದೂಸ್ have certain months of the year which are very very auspicious or holy they are considered auspicious by the rushi munis thousands and thousands of years ago and through these months it's a gateway to perform extra devotion to please bhagwan now you're probably thinking that i'm doing devotion from january to december and what's the difference well today in our presentation we're going to conduct what chaturmas is the importance of chaturmas and what kind of niyams one can take in chaturmas and how it's beneficial to our human life our spiritual life and how bhagwan swami narayan will become pleased by it So by the inspiration of our Pooja Guruji, Sri Swamiran Mandir Loya Dham has launched a Chaturmas form which uh, is actually circulating currently in Loya Dham Parivar which you can also sign up for. But before we do that, we would like to first see exactly what Chaturmas is. So from there we can actually gain some importance and perform Niyams accordingly. So here's the introduction. Chaturmas begins on <coughs> Ashad Sud Ekadasi, also known as Dev Podi Ekadasi, when Bhagwan Vishnu descends into the Shir Sagar, the ocean of milk, to guard King Bali's kingdom for 4 months. This stemmed from King Bali's immense sacrifice by offering to Bhagwan 3 strides of land, which included himself. Chatur that's just a small in, um you can say history behind how this whole chaturmas began began but chatur meaning four and mas meaning months four months chaturmas ends on kartak shud 11th dev prabodini ekadasi when bhagwan vishnu awakens rather than returns to vaikunt from bali's kingdom so you can see over here that july 1st is the starting date according to the american calendar date and it ends on november 25th you're probably wondering that that's not 4 months that's 5 months well this year is special because it's adhik mas which we'll also learn about in the near future but bhagwan swami narayan has instructed his devotees to practice niyams in chaturmas so first and foremost what is special about chaturmas Obviously if you gain the importance and learn the importance of something then you would want to do it more with enthusiasm and it would actually last more longer For example you know the importance of education which is in the future a degree which is in the future setting your whole life up so you would study hard you you would stay up nights study for exams you would learn more and more so that none of these uh, you can say no other problems occur in your education and you can get into a good college and actually go um to uh, uh you know get a good job and so on and so forth in the same way we would like to conduct inf- uh, information regarding how special chaturmas is here so number 1 it's sattva guni now there is three states in a human which is always circulating 
Satvagun, Rajagun, and Tamagun. Satvagun is, you can say, the state of pureness, goodness, the state where you actually feel like devo uh, devoting um, more time in Bhagwan-related or spiritual-related activities. Um, Rajagun is more on the, you feel like desi desiring to eat something tasty, look at something, uh, do something which is more adventurous, things like that. And Tamagun is more of darkness, uh, anger, ego, more like a sleep state. These three states are always circulating in a human's mind. Now, from that, Chaturmas, what it does is that from these three states, it focuses on the state of Satpagun, which is the best and which is a way to please Bhagwan Swami Narayan and is a Kantik Satpurush. So the four months of Chaturmas are considered of the nature of goodness or Satvaguni, of the three modes as I just explained. And it is very easy to perform devotion in this particular time because the whole environment may it be at your home or may it be at Mandir, is more centered around devotion and it's more focused on that particular subject at hand. That's why it also, you can just go with the flow and also jump right into devotion to please Bhagwan. Number two, Nilkan Verni. Nilkan Verni did tap during the four months in Pulhashram. Now that's very important for us because <clears throat> our Bhagwan who is the Supreme Lord of Lords, came down here 239 years ago, lived on this earth for 49 years only, and between the age of 11 to 18, he traveled across India, all over India, and finally stopped in western India, which is currently, we say, Gujarat, the state of Gujarat. But before doing so, when he was traveling in the Himalayas, Pulhashram is a particular area uh, which is at um, a very high altitude which in the winter gets very, very windy and very, very icy, cold, snowy. Yet, Bhagwan Swaminathan as Nilkan Verni performed tap or we can say penance for four months in these auspicious four months of, you can say, Chaturmas. That's why these four months are very important for us and just like how Nilkan Verni performed penance, we as devotees should also perform some kind of penance, some kind of tap to please our Bhagwan. We can never match his tap, but definitely what we can do is we can perform such kind of tap as eating less, eating something that we like less. Suppose we like chocolates, Suppose we like donuts, pizza, we eat that less. Or, for example, we can do vrats like dharna, parna, chandrayan. All these different kinds of vrats also pertain to penance. So that's the second point. The third point is Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu takes rest in Sirsagar, the ocean of milk, instead of Vaikunt. Vaikunt is Lord Vishnu's abode, yet... Lord Vishnu comes down to the ocean of milk and takes rest there, which is important factor for these four months. These were the four points. Moving on next, what do we do? Now, according to the Shikshapatri, Bhagwan Swami Narayan says in Shlok 77, all my disciples shall undertake special additional religious duties during the four months of monsoon, which is Chaturmas, those who are weak and incapable shall perform them at least during the month of Shravan. Shravan Mas is coming up on Tuesday. Shravan Mas starts on Tuesday, which we will also currently learn in the future. So, Bhagwan Swami Narayan wants us to perform extra special additional, you can say, religious duties. Duties meaning activities. Duties meaning bhakti or devotion. To please Bhagwan. So this is our Bhagwan Swaminarayan's command. This is a straight direct agna for all devotees, not only householder devotees, but may it be brahmacharis, may it be saints, may it be male devotees, may it be female devotees, may it be children, may it be all of you out there watching. 
But Bhagwan Swami Narayan wants us to do this. That's why we are doing it to please Him. Now, you're probably wondering, what can I do to please Bhagwan? What kind of niyams can I take to please a Bhagwan? Well, here are the best niyams according to Bhagwan Swami Narayan, which are stated in the uh, in the Shikshapatri as well, which I'm going to read to you here. Listening to religious scriptures and katha. Daily live katha occurs every night and in the morning here at our Loyadam USA channel. And off of that, you can listen to katha, maybe take a niyam of 30 minutes, maybe take a niyam of 15 minutes if you have schoolwork, whatever, however your time adjusts. But sitting down out of the normal habit of what you, whatever you do during the day and particularly fo focusing on Bhagwan related activities is the whole focus behind Chaturmas. Second, reading of religious scriptures like the Vachnamrut, Satsangi Jivan, etc., so on and so forth. There are so many English translated scriptures, or if you know the language of Gujarati, Gujarati scriptures, that Bhagwan Swami Narayan has related somehow through his charitras, maybe it's through his principles in the form of the Vachnamrut, or maybe different, different vatos of Sadguru Santo. These all pertain to religious scriptures that Bhagwan would like us to do. Maybe a pat. Pat meaning completing one Vachnamrut pat complete from Vachnamrut 1 to 262 during these four months. That's called one pat of Vachnamrut that you can take or whatever is suitable for you. Third is singing devotional songs or kirtans in the praise of Bhagwan. Singing a kirtan during the daytime or whenever you're free in front of your God Mandir is also a good option to take because that builds a lot of devotion and praise of Bhagwan, and you also get to learn new kirtans. Nonetheless, performing Mansi Puja. Mansi Puja is a definite and Bhagwan Swaminarayan definitely becomes pleased by that. Just like how our government there has Bhagwan sitting there and how our parents serve Thad, inside of our heart, Bhagwan lives there. And Bhagwan also needs a shower, also needs a brush, also needs food, also needs clothing. So it's our job to take care of Bhagwan to the best of our abilities. And how Mansi Pujas are performed, it can be read in the Vachnamrut Gadada, last chapter 23rd. And they are done five times a day. But Mansi Puja or Maha Puja is also a way to do so. Chanting Swaminarayan Maha Mantra. Chanting the Swaminarayan Maha Mantra is the most easiest form of devotion. May it be through performing madas or may it be taking a counter and certainly having a target of 1,000 japs a day or even more according to your capability, so on and so forth. But that can be done to please Bhagwan. Next, reciting Bhagwan's hymns or stotras. This is a diff uh, definitely a difficult niyam to take, but whoever is learned can definitely do this to please Bhagwan as well. Doing pradakshinas, walking around the image of God in a clockwise direction. Pradakshina is also an easy form of devotion which can take. And also, finally, doing shashtang danvat pranams. Uh, or for females, uh, their form of dunwats, which are called panchang pranam. And they can be done as well. During the day, you can take 50, 75, 100, or however your cap capability is. All of these niyams and more are particularly focused, obviously, around God, and Bhagwan is pleased by these niyams. Now, for us saints, just to give you an example, our Puja Guruji, is taking niyams of doing parts, is taking niyams of doing maras, is currently taking niyam of <coughs> doing penance. So we should also be motivated. Here, Santos at Loyada Manje, Loyada Florida, are taking parts of doing Bhakta Chintamni, Vachnamrut, Swamini Vato, Dunvats, singing Kirtans, so on and so forth. And by taking such kind of niyams, our whole day becomes filled with bhakti and Bhagwan becomes pleased, which is our main goal. Moving on, Marat says that these are the best niyams to take 
as there is direct contact with God Himself. Maharaj has instructed us to take at least one niyam from those mentioned before. Furthermore, one could take other niyams beside these as well to please Maharaj. So, at least from the previously mentioned niyams, you can take any of those or something extra. But again, just saying our main goal is to please Bhagwan. What do we get from observing these niyams? Obviously, when you are doing something, you're always looking for some kind of benefit. You're always looking for something in return. Now, obviously, you're like, you know, maybe a game console, maybe an electronic device. But in Bhagwan's eyes, he gives something different. Let's take a look. Number one, observing a niyam during Chaturmas brings us closer to God. Well, you know, for many, many countless lives, we've been wandering and wandering, yet we have not attained Bhagwan Swami Narayan's abode. We have not even come close to Bhagwan Swami Narayan. And now, due to His grace, we have received this human body, this satsang, this ekantik satpurush, and due to that, we have a chance to become very, very close to Maharaj. So that's number one. Number two, we also follow two shlokas in the Shikshapatri as well. So Bhagwan Swaminarayan's commands to be short. Therefore, we should practice these niyams with maximum devotion to God. These practices should not be undertaken to expect fruits of any kind, but only to please God. Remember kids, the main goal is to please God. So whatever niyams you take, do not take for getting a 4.0 GPO, GPA. Do not take it to get a game council. Do not take it for any electronic devices or do not take it so your parents can buy you clothes and other things. But take it solely so that Maharaj becomes pleased upon you. So finally, before we end this, our Lord Amparivar has a neom form which is circulating right now. Uh, you can have a chance to uh, sign up for those uh, neoms. Nonetheless, if you are not in the Loyadam Parivar, you can also email us at loyadamnj at the rate gmail.com so that you can receive the neom form and you can receive a chance to please Bhagwan in these four months of Chaturmas. Saying this, my humble Jai Swaminarayan.